Hey guys, what's happening? So, just picked this up on OfferUp for uh, 500 bucks. So I'm actually kind of building like a small machine shop here. So I've been actually doing the conversion on the uh, lathe of their Sagami lathe um, to uh, CNC. You can kind of see it when it's almost done. Uh, but, you know, I really wasn't ready for the, the mill yet, but... And actually I originally wanted like a full-size enclosure one, but um, when I saw this for 500 bucks, um, I mean, it's like one of those round column mills. Um, this one is actually by Harbor Freight. But like one of the original ones, uh, you know, this is probably 15, 20 years old, but yeah, I'm not a big fan. Obviously, I mean, nobody's a fan of Harbor Freight stuff, but what's funny is they actually make the exact same thing. Jet makes one, Grizzly makes one. So several actual companies actually make this exact same mill. Um, so I don't know if they're, they're all just being made in one place and you're putting different nameplates on them. But, um, yeah, so this is, I think the, the, tr the travel is 22 in the X, 7 in the Y. can't remember the actual Z. But the reason why I wanted this one is that it was already converted to CNC already. So if this was just a mill, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Because it already had some of the CNC stuff on it already. I was like, eh, I'm going to see if I can play with it maybe here. But I already opened up the boxes to see what was actually in them. But this is, like I said, a very unique setup here. Uh, because this is probably a 15 year old CNC conversion. And what's also interesting too is the guy that I got this from, this was his first uh, mill he ever had and he started like an aerospace company and the place was like loaded with CNC machines. But this is the one that actually got the company started so I thought that was pretty cool. So a huge company was actually started in this, this guy's garage in this mill. Um, so hopefully he'll do the same for me. Who knows? All right. Um, so look at the board here. So this is actually a Max CNC board, or no, Max NC, uh, but it's a closed loop board. And uh, so I have NEMA, there's no NEMA 23s, but they're closed loop in quadrature mode. So it's not like your typical like Mach 3 step and direction. It's actually in quadrature mode. So there's actually encoders in the back of these things. So that's super rare for that time that you actually would have a stepper and encoder. It's, you never see that. but. You know, Max CNC or Max NC was like a a company that um, made like these like little these like anodized aluminum blue CNC machines for like the home user. So the guy took that off off one of those other CNC machines and put it on this big machine. So I don't know if he had bought one of those and was learning and moved over to this, but yeah, it has encoders. So but look at this board though. So it actually will work in Mach 3. Um, there actually is an option for this actual board. Um, but the whole thing is contained in this whole board, I and mean, the drivers are there. I mean, you have like the, I think these are probably obviously probably MOS, MOSFETs, but the drivers are all, it's all integrated in one board. The drivers, the breakout board, it's all one board. But here's the case, a couple transformers, you have your, I mean, a, a driver, I mean, I'm not sure. Well, I've been looking at this for a while, but it looks like there's a rectifier in there. But I'll go into more detail, but I want to take off the electronics and test them. Um, and this is actually the spindle control. So the spindle is just directly plugged into this thing. And with that outlet right there, and that's a contactor right there, which is being run and fed by the control board. Um, hmm. Yeah, and it's chain driven too, look at that. <laughs> I've never seen one that was chain driven like that. I mean, the chains are all loose, so they're not super greasy, but they're, they're super loose, the slack, them, you know. Um, but yeah, I want to take all the electronics off because I want to take this out and just, you know, spray it off with water. But yeah, this is the introduction video. I got all these different products I'm working on, I got to finish, but because I keep on buying products, I'm not finishing the ones I have. Um, so I'm trying to blow them out. But uh, for $500, I think it was probably a good deal, you know. I mean, there's some slop that I need to fix, you know. I mean, obviously you can't have that in a CNC machine, that much slop. You know, that's not going to work. Um, but there is actually an adjustment for that to get that out of there. Uh, like, like an eccentric. So I'm going to have to go through, and I noticed that this is not ball screws either, it's, it's actually the lead screws. Um, there is actually an adjuster inside to, you know, to get rid of the, the slop. So there, that's actually cool, but eventually I'm going to probably, uh, you know, converting this over to ball screws. But, uh, yeah, I want to see if I can get it to work as is, though. I mean, that'd be cool if I could get this to work with this old board, um, you know, with Mach 3. 
but yeah, just check your limits what it is. Like really basic, you know, it's not I mean I don't know how good a quality parts you're gonna make here. You know, obviously I'm not gonna put like you know hundred thousand dollar CNC quality parts in here, but um I know I'm kinda of rambling here. Yeah, it needs new belts. So it's adjustable belts and it looks like it has like the bunch of different pulley setups you could do for different, different RPMs, but I'll, I'll just keep it, right now it's at the max, it's at the max, I don't even know if it runs, to tell you the truth, I haven't even fired it up yet, cool, it's 110, so I don't have to do any uh, three-phase conversion, like this, this, the lathe here was originally, uh, uh, the three-phase, and I converted this to, uh, you know, single-phase 220, the VFD and everything, so, it actually does work. I'm almost finished. I've got to finish up the limit switches and that. Alright, um, right, fun project, man. Only 500 bucks. Hope I can get it to work. Hope it doesn't become like a money trap. <laughs> you know, where I have to drain a few more thousand into it because then it wouldn't be. I'd rather just buy a different CNC machine. But if I could get it all to work with 500 bucks, that would be pretty cool. Alright, so um, yeah, I gotta take it apart and clean it. But I, I just wanted to show you this to you before I got the electronics off.